Hey, this is George with D Runk Comics. Today I'm joined with that guy. Or this guy. What's your name? My name is Zach. All right. That's what I go by. Excellent. We're uh, yes. concealing the real names to protect the innocent. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so on today's video, um, we're going to cover all of my slabbed comic books. All of them. There's 19 in total. You can count them down with me as you're watching the video if you choose. Uh, we're going to start with some that I've already shown in a previous video. Those we're going to breeze through. Um, good. Zach, you got anything? Uh, not off the top of my head right now. All right. Let's, let's, let's get to it. Let's get it rocking. All right. Oh. We've got this one right here. 1 in 100 sketch variant of the new Superman written by... Brian Bendis, Michael Brian Bendis, or some kind of Bendis. Is it Brian Michael? I think he just goes by Brian Bendis now. All right, bend it like Bendis. Got it. All oh, right, yeah. on to the next one. We've got X Men Alpha number one, one of my favorite all time childhood comic books. Moving right along, that's you, Zach. That would be me, and this is the other part of that X Men thing right there Age of Apocalypse. Be about it. Pretty cool. Look the foil. First appearance of Doomsday. That's chromium, not foil, man. Get it yeah. straight. Uh, My words mean no talk so good. Yep. Yeah. Drunk again. <laughs> All right. That's what we're about here. All right. This one I actually really, really like. This one is is what this we is... would consider to be dope. <laughs> <laughs> it's dope. Yeah. Why is it dope? Uh, it's, it's original. I mean, literally, there's only one of these in the entire world. Um, I mean, that's, it, it doesn't get, it doesn't get any cooler than that, really. It doesn't. So, video over. Every, it's all downhill <laughs> from there. Thanks for selling the rest of it, You're, you're welcome. I do uh, what I can. So, next comic book. Now we're going to get into some that I've not shown yet. And the first one we're going to show is from CBCS, graded a 9.8. It is the first ever appearance of Zoom, Hunter Zolomon. Awesome comic book. Absolutely love it. Uh, Zach here, he has his own copy that we're going to be CGC, hopefully pretty soon. Yeah. Um, but awesome storyline, awesome comic book, awesome character. That's a good combination there. Yeah. And this one, this one I actually like. I, <clears throat> I kind of, I'm, I'm never really a, a huge fan of old school comics. Um, just I, I personally like the the art style and everything of uh, of newer comics, but this one um, I just I like how it has all the characters on there. It uh, has it's it's signed by uh, one of the creators Chris of this comic, Claremont. Chris Claremont, who was one of, also one of the creators of uh, the Dark Phoenix. Yeah, stuff. He's yes. creator of stuff. Yes, okay. and it's this book in particular is the first appearance of Rogue, which is a key issue in uh, anyone's collection. Um, absolutely love that book. Very happy to have that. All right, next book I've got up is my first ever CGC comic book that I bought. I got it at a garage sale, and this, not a really special issue, but I wanted to start collecting slab comic books. This is the first one I came across. This is the older, um, not the oldest, but the, the older version of the CGC comic books. It's a thinner case. It's flimsier. It actually made me want to stop collecting them until I saw what the new cases looked like. Speaking of the newer cases, Zach, what do you have? Uh, these are a couple of the more uh, more modern comics. Uh, it has the, what is it called again? Lenticular? Lenticular. 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 Um, it's kind of a hard word to say when, when you've been drinking. Apple juice or, or whatever or it cola. is that you have. Or cola. We'll get to that in a second. But, um, I mean, anybody that knows about these comics uh, knows that this is when the uh, the Watchmen were actually introduced into the regular DCU. Um, and, uh, I mean, the Watchmen, it's, it's a, it was a great comic. It was a really good movie. And uh, got another part here. Um, George knows, obviously knows a whole lot more about this. But me personally, I love this, uh, I love this cover. Um, just the, the, how the graphic turns from uh, the reverse flash... Looking, looking normal to being basically disintegrated by... Uh, disintegrated. Disintegrated. And the back is even lenticular. The advertisement. Oh, really? I didn't <laughs> notice that. Yeah, check it before you wreck it. 
Don't wreck it too much. Oh, that's easy. <laughs> All right. It's probably, maybe I shouldn't be handling any of these with the... Uh, oh, that with happens. The, yeah, okay. I have insurance. This is another good one. Especially, uh, again, w people who know the Watchmen with the blood splatter on, uh, on reverse flash there, they will notice the pattern or the design of the blood splatter. Mm -hmm. So, I and really like this one. Thomas Wayne Batman as the opposite in that one. Take Absolutely. Arizona. Very, very cool. So. Um, so, yeah, I have all four issues of that button storyline, all of them in the lenticular covers, all of them on 9.8. You like the 9.8. You need <laughs> the 9.8. You're getting sleep. No, you're getting de -runk. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're a little past that point, but all right. we're good. Let's keep it going. All right, and then this one. That is the first appearance of Red Goblin. Uh, pretty uh, cool book. It's, uh, it's been pretty hot lately. Um, now... This one I bought off of eBay, and I got that eBay-itis where the book came in cracked. I paid $35 for this, plus like $8 shipping, and I got 20 back for the little crack in here. So all I got, I got to resubmit that, but it's a good book. I'm happy with it. The eBay seller took care of me. Um, this book doesn't really mean a whole lot to me. I bought it because the auction was ending, and it was like 20 bucks. I was like, eh. Deadpool, number one issue, uh, why, why not? Add it to the collection. It's in there. Okay. Then there is this one. Don't show me, show them. Well, I'm, I'm, making, I'm, making, I'm making sure you know which one I'm holding up. It's the up. one that says Tron on the back. Yeah, but what does it say on the front? Well, Mega Man number three, it says that on the what? label as well. I've been drinking, folks, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> uh, I might not have the attention to detail that I normally would, but... Here is Omega Man number three. Omega Men number three. First appearance of? The main man. Lobo. In, in his. You bastics. In, in his disco 70s outfit. Yeah, that's unfortunate. But. <laughs> hey, not as unfortunate as his new 52 appearance, where he looked like a dude straight out of Twilight. Uh, yeah. All right. Did, this... did the real Lobo come back and, and kill him off, though? Yeah, thank you. All right. All right. This is the back of the cover, which is pink. I have Flash Rebirth number one, uh, 9.8. I like my 9.8s. Cool cover. Love the Flash. It's my second favorite superhero. The Flash? Yeah. The Flash. See, uh, it's hard for me to pick a second, but for my first, it's uh, it's Spider-Man 2099. Yeah. I, I know it, he's not as, as popular or well-known or, or whatever as, as, like, say, Superman or Batman, but he just he has a, he has a spot in my heart. All right. And he's never going to leave. But... All right, and here's the next one. I guess we're trying to breeze through these. There's a lot of comics, and yeah. uh, it's it's good stuff. So, Superman uh, Rebirth, Rebirth number one. Yes. Cool issue, Superman. That's my favorite hero. Uh, did you? Not... I apologize for that. This isn't the movies. I was not told to turn off my ringer, so I will apologize again. <laughs> and, profusely, uh, would you? I will apologize profusely. And while you're explaining that one, I will turn off my phone to this make sure that doesn't happen. This is again. one of my favorite all-time covers. This is the JLA Avenger crossover. We got Superman holding Thor's hammer because he's like totes worthy. And he's holding Captain America's shield. What a cover. That's just amazing. George Perez's artwork. I, I just love this book. It's one of my favorites. And this book is near and dear to my heart. Because I love Superman, I love Peter Tomasi, did an amazing job along with Dan Jurgens and Superman Rebirth. And uh, give me one second. We're getting towards the last issue. All right. Um, it's signed, and Zach had a had a hand in this. What did you do to, to make I, this happen? I I was the devil on your shoulder. I was the one that you were you were you were just looking at it like I don't know. It's really cool, but it's kind of spendy. Um, and I was just like, do it, do it, grow a pair already and do it. And I was and like, fine, I'll do it! And then I did it! And I've never regretted it until I had less money in my bank account. That, that part I regretted, but, well, um, is that all my books? That, that would be all your books. Those are all my uh, books? That we have, we have, uh, set up for today. Um, right. I do, I do want to say with the, this Rebirth one, though, again, you know, I mean, like, this one I talked you into buying, but, I mean, like, looking at it, like, in person now with, with the 
chromium cover? This is a foil cover. Foil cover. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, so but that's... <laughs> I was that's wrong a... both times, folks. <laughs> but, um, no, the, the chromium, and uh, sometimes, like, with me, it's it's the simple things. Like, like I see the shiny back, and granted, the, the front is so much cooler, but the shiny back, it just, it, it makes me... Yeah, and this it is... It makes me like it even more. It's, this is San Diego Comic-Con edition, which, you know, you, can, you had to go to San Diego Comic-Con or eBay after the people that went to Comic-Con. But really cool book. And I bought this for less than what it is going for on eBay not signed, which, you know, is my version of getting a really good deal. So I'm pretty yeah. pumped about that. And I had a dude that talked me into buying it, so thank you for that. You're welcome, sir. Um, but yeah, I think that's really all we got for today. Yeah. Um, thank you for watching. My name is George. And my name is Zach. And this is Drunk Comics. That's ah, good stuff. Oh, yeah. Good. All right. Urine. <laughs> See you.